Mona's place was a closed-down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had done the kiss of death to it. I felt like I was walking into a trap. I felt guilty, like I was about to get caught. front door. I had wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. Little wonder. as a way of sneaking up on you. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. speaking terms. Or maybe the place is just too lame to be fun. Huh. A fun house is a linear sequence of scares. 
take it or leave it is the only choice given. Makes you think about free will. Have our choices been made for us because of who we are? John Mira. Yes, this is he. This is John Mira. Welcome to the next level. I was behind the backdrops, getting warm. When I first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. They must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We both lost our loved ones. Mona's door was locked. I could have knocked, but I felt an urge to snoop around more, keep acting paranoid. I pretended I had a choice in the matter. I took something to make me feel better about myself. The weapons and explosives in her workroom left no questions about her vocation. <laughs> and we keep driving into the night. <laughs> it's a late goodbye. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, Mona, you're no singer. You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. You'll have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. <laughs> 